Hey, good morning and welcome to Decide and Do 252. So, uh, question this morning is, has anyone ever told you that you couldn't do something? So, you said, hey, you know, I want to do this or I want to accomplish this and you had somebody out there that was like, no, nope, you're not going to be able to do that. Maybe it was, you know, a teacher or maybe it was in high school and it was, you know, uh, people around you or your parents or even friends. Uh, and loved ones sometimes that you tell them, hey, this is what I want to do in life. And they're like, yeah, you're just not smart enough and you're not good enough and you're not talented enough. Uh, you know, you're not good looking enough. Uh, you're not the right fit for that or whatever it may be. Um, that, that's the case for a lot of individuals, you know. I know growing up in high school, I told people what I wanted to do and they didn't believe me. And I mean, I've been doing this for 15 years and they still probably don't believe that I can do it. Uh, it's just because they're negative individuals and they have no, you know, self-esteem of themselves or in themselves to accomplish their goals. And instead of, you know, doing that, they would rather hate on other people. You know, sometimes that's the fact. And, and sometimes it's just people, they don't expect you to do that because, you know, maybe it's what they've seen from you previously and they didn't see the, you know, the same fire drive inside of you when it came to other things. But then when you tell them, Hey, this is what I want to do. They just automatically associate the fire and drive that you had for those other things with you accomplishing whatever it is that you say that you want to accomplish now. Um, but you know, for, for a lot of people, that's the case. People tell them all the time, hey, you, you're not good enough for this. You're not smart enough for this. You're not pretty enough. You're not, you know, handsome enough, whatever it may be. And the fact is, that's not the reality. That's not the reality at all. You know, yes, you can do whatever you set your mind to. And, and I believe that with the proper mindset, you know, it's not just, hey, I want to be an astronaut and I'm going to be an astronaut. No, with the proper mindset, yes, you can become an astronaut and with the proper training and the proper education. But you have having to take the time and the energy and the effort to actually put forth the, you know, the, the effort to accomplish that, that's what's going to get you there. But just saying it, you know, is not going to be enough to, to get you past the finish line when it comes to something like that. And because of that, you know, people doubt, people doubt you all the time. People, you know, always are, are you know, negative in whatever it is that you're, you're trying to do. And I say this, it's, it's very simple. Uh, you know, and I, and I always say that, I swear, I always say it's very simple. Um, I think it's very simple because of the mindset that I have, but I had doubters when I was growing up. I had doubters when I was growing up. I have had doubters while I've, you know, been in the organization that I've been in. And I know what my goals are. I know what my dreams are. I know what my ambitions are. And, and you know, I set those goals and I set those dreams and, and I put forth the work and the effort. And even when I do that, sometimes, you know, you still have those doubters. It, it's it's like another video I did to talk about, you know, just getting rid of the noise. That's all you have to do. You have to get rid of that noise. You have to go ahead and believe in yourself. You have to realize and understand that you're the most important individual. And who gives a crap what the doubters say? Who cares that other people say, you know what, you're not going to be able to accomplish. Who cares? Like you got to stop caring about what everyone else thinks when it comes to what you want to do in life. You do. You have to put aside all the naysayers. You have to put aside, you know, whether it's family or friends or coworkers, whatever. And you have to just be laser focused on what you want to do and accomplish. You have to have the proper mindset. You have to be talking yourself all the time. And I mean, talking yourself all the time about what you've already done to get to where you're going to go, right? So all the small victories that you've had leading you up to win that, you know, final war, whatever it is in, in your mind, uh, to accomplish the goal that you've set out to do. And even after you accomplish it, there's going to be naysayers. There's going to be people that, oh, well, you cut this corner. Oh, you did that. Or you, you didn't do that how other people did to get to where, you know what? Shut the hell up. Like, don't even listen to that crap. Get rid of it. Who cares? People are going to doubt you no matter what. Doesn't matter. No matter what, people are going to doubt you. As long as you don't doubt yourself, that's all that matters in life. Don't doubt yourself. All right. Have the proper mindset and accomplish the goals that you want to accomplish. Put forth the effort to do it. That's all you have to do. All right. And the reason I want to talk about this this morning, the reason I asked the question is it's something that comes up all the time. You know, people are like, oh, well, you know, you just, you can't do this and you might not be able to do that. Like, why do we say that? 
Why are we not individuals that reinforce other people's goals and dreams and ambitions? And be like, wow, that's, you know what? That sounds awesome. Hey, what are you doing to accomplish that? Maybe I can learn something from what you're doing. But instead, you know what? We're naysayers all the time. And we're like, nah, you're not going to... Man, we have to change just as much as you have to change on your side when it comes to the proper mindset. So I didn't want to talk about that this morning. I wanted to ask the question and, uh, you know, make people think about it. So until my next video, I appreciate you watching. Decide and do.